And how proud are you of these girls? I mean, I'm so proud. Um, I knew all along that, I mean, our conference is very tough. Anybody can beat anybody on any given day. Um, and I, I really think that the talent we have on this team and the senior leadership that we have on this team has the potential really to take us a long way this season. And being able to beat, you know, the number one team in the conference as it stands right now is pretty amazing. We love playing in Hanover. There's sometimes a little bit of extra energy in here. Um, but a great performance tonight as I'm looking at the stats. Maddie Klein did amazing. She played fearless and she had a huge block in front of her the entire game. Um, you know, JMU is definitely a strong blocking team and uh, Maddie, I think, um, really was very composed and created a lot of different kills for herself. And Madison Peters too, she's kind of our fire starter. Um, she's hard to defend as a left-handed player. Um, and I thought our blocking was pretty strong too. Um, with Michaela White on JMU, she's just a phenomenal athlete and um, we can have the best game plan and she's just hard to stop. No one in our conference has figured out how to stop her. We're just trying to get good touches on our block against her and try to slow her down. So I think our game plan and the blocking matchups that we wanted against specific players really worked for us tonight. I mean, you guys did stop her tonight, though. She had a couple little yeah. spurts where yeah. where she was looking good, but yeah. then after that, I mean, yeah. you pretty much shut her down. I mean, yeah. what was the key to doing that? Um, well, you know, she does play uh, – front. she plays with the front row setter for two rotations, and so we, we committed two blockers on her at all times. A lot of times, you know, in a perfect pass situation with your middles, you're, you're blocking one-on-one, -on -one, but we were able to commit uh, Maddie Klein, who's a very tall blocker, and Anna Moss, we were able to commit um, – those two people on her and try to slow her down and she's got some you know crazy tips and throws and rolls and um, we were able to pick up those pretty well but her hard swings are pretty uh, you know difficult to stop but I mean overall I thought our serving was tough we, we served the target that we wanted to go after and it got them out of system and they just didn't have an answer for um, for any bad pass that they have I felt that we really controlled their out of system swings. What was it like in the locker room before the game I mean you guys played five sets last night yeah. And then you have to play the number one team in the in yeah. the conference tonight, yeah. right after. Yeah. I mean, how, what was the mood like before the game? Well, we, we ended up, um, we did some scouting early on, earlier today, around 1 o'clock. And, you know, the girls that played a lot, they, they needed to do recovery um, and, you know, do a lot of stretching. And we do Norma Tech or Ice Bath. And, you know, the girls that are playing a lot, they really need to recover. And um, so they did, I think they did great. I couldn't tell that they played a five-set match yesterday. Um, so I think our girls are really strong. They're really in shape. And they're playing great at the end of the season. And and, you know, one of our team goals is to be undefeated in Hanover. And so far, every game that we've played in here, uh, we've been undefeated. So we hope to ca hope to carry that forward on Monday night. Well, you got another one Monday, and you got yep. Towson. And so. they're very strong. They took uh, Charleston to five uh, earlier today, and they ended up Charleston ended up winning. But they're a very strong team that you can't take lightly. So that that's a tight tight race right now between it you is. and Towson. It sure so is. how do you keep everybody up after this to come back on Monday? and go right at them. I mean, they're, I think they're our seen we have such a strong, you know, uh, such strong leadership in our seniors and even our juniors that have been playing quite a bit since they were freshmen. They're just determined to have the best, most successful season. Um, our, our senior class, you know, they got to win a conference championship as freshmen in 2015. Those, they were part of the banners that are hanging up uh, behind me in our gym. And, you know, it's their goal to, to get themselves in, in that position uh, again this season. So um, I want them to have an amazing you know, senior season. And we talk about what's your why? What's your why and your motivation for wanting to beat a team like this or wanting to continue and push strong? And um, our, our seniors are certainly leading that charge. Speaking of seniors, I know Michaela White hasn't been able to play. <laughs> I've seen her crying yeah. after that. Those are happy I, tears. I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Just explain, like, what, you know, with her, her feelings there, yeah. you know, seeing their, them yeah. beat James Madison. Yeah. And no, I know she, how bad she wants to be out there to yeah, help them. Yeah, she's been an, an incredible addition to our team the past two seasons. I have thoroughly enjoyed coaching her. Um, she has a great IQ for the game. I feel like she could be a, be an amazing coach someday because she really knows the game really well. Um, so she's been taking on more of a coaching role for us and helping our young setters, um, you know, in practices and even in games, giving them confidence. So she's kind of having to be a little bit of a cheerleader for us. And she she already has a lot of respect from the team. And um, a couple of the girls, you'll see um, our number 10 has number three written on the back of her mm. calves. And some other girls have number three kind of written on them. And they want to make this, um, you know, still a successful se season for her um, just with, you know, with uh, not being able to finish her season, um, so we're, we're a lot of a lot of our why has to do with her, but also just wanting to get back to the conference championship.